Hello everyone, so it's time for me to do this um, watercolor, cheap watercolor challenge video. Um, I've showed this from previous haul. This is a Stadler Norris Club 12 pan watercolor box, and that is the most, like, the cheapest thing I've ever seen. The whole set cost cost me the same price as one high hand pen well half pen actually so it is fairly cheap that's for sure is it cheap quality probably I've actually never used I'm gonna use the brush that they provide you with I actually never used cheap watercolor um, well maybe when I was super young but yeah I'm excited to see how impossible it is to grab the color and to shade everything um, so I'm gonna use the cheap brush that they have right here and also other cheap brush this all also super super cheap uh, it's like I don't know like two dollars like two dollars for a pack of five or like really really inexpensive and that's basically like the Crayola or like cheap mark like cheap pencil challenge just to try to prove the point that basically you don't need any fancy high-hand tool to make something great however um, I've, I think you can do better with the Norris colored pencils it's always like you always have some room to like experiment and layer colors I don't think with watercolor is that easy especially with the price <laughs> but I'm just like I'm excited and I want to see like if this is possible or not so we have 12 colors whole gradient um browns greens blue there's the purples and the pink and like you know i can i think i can do something but um i also think it's gonna be pretty impossible to do something so i'm gonna try real time just to do something with this and then i will just speed up the rest of it so you can see me struggle for five minutes <laughs> trying to make something with this so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to do the background with this like super cheap brush. Um, I'm assuming that you have to wet the colors a lot. So let's try uh, pink or purple. Let's try this purple that doesn't look like watercolor at all. Oh my god, this is so bad. Um, do I have any color right here? Oh, I actually have colors. Um, so the brush that they give you, like if you buy the, if you buy the set, um, the brush that they give you with is pretty pretty. I think it's actually worse than the watercolor itself. It's so bad. Oh my god, I can't even... What the hell? <laughs> this is so bad. I hate this brush. <laughs> oh my god, that is the worst brush I've ever had in my hand. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is just change the brush. Like, it's a cheap watercolor challenge, but this... It doesn't count this is rubbish I'm gonna switch to another cheap brush uh, that is cheap as well but just a little bit more um, easy to handle than this thing and I'm gonna still try to work the watercolors just wet the color and yeah and now I'm gonna try to do something um actually it's not that bad I thought that this will be really hard to grab the color but uh, so far it's easy to grab, it's easy to apply. Now what I want to try is mixing them. Like if I grab the pink right here, can I mix this easily? Oh, actually I can. Grabbing the pink here, grabbing a bit of red right here. Okay, the red is really nasty. <laughs> but I can, I can actually mix. Then a little bit of blue. Wow, <laughs> the blue is so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Add a bit of water to blend this. Oh, the blue is very strong. Let me just grab a bit more pink. The pink isn't that pink. It's more like a, um, like a purple actually. Yeah, but I, I'm mixing, so that makes sense. Yeah, actually, it's not that hard to work with. Well, I suppose it's not. It doesn't have like as much pigment as what you would expect with like a better quality paint but this is actually pretty easy to apply I'm really impressed I wasn't expecting that well Stedler is a good brand but I wasn't expecting that for the 
that price because like I said it's very very cheap so I mean like when I say cheap it's like I, I told I, I paid five bucks for the set so you know <laughs> well I think I'm gonna speed up that part now and try to do something with this artwork the way I will do it with my other kind of watercolors and I will come back to you when I have finished this. So it is finished and uh, I'm actually pretty impressed about the, the good quality I suppose. Well it's not a, like it's not like it's a good quality. Uh, it's, it's, it's cheap um, in a way that there are a lot of things that I really don't like about this. It's not actually watercolor. It feels like a gouache somehow. More like a, it has this like weird powdery finish. Um, so um, like the, the the texture isn't pretty really great, and um, grabbing the color, it's not that hard right here. It's drying really fast, faster than um like the other kind of watercolors that I've used. And but t for something that cheap, um, I feel like it's still a great tool because you can do cool, like great things. It has a lot of colors. It's nice to practice like shading, blending. But um, I also tried the um, white that comes with it. 
this is Stedler Opaque White for like highlights. Um, it's 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 not the like it's a basic white. Uh, I think it's like acrylic or something, but uh, yeah, um, oh, <laughs> just stabbing the drawing. And yeah, that's how it turned out. Uh, I think it's, I'm actually pretty impressed. Like I said, I didn't, I never thought that um, the paint will be so like vibrant and it's, it's, it's not hard to use, you know, it's not harder or like, it doesn't have like any weird, because a lot of cheap tools, especially color pencils, it tends to have a very bad uh, pigmentation, they're very dull looking and that watercolor is not dull looking at all so if you're trying like to if you want to um, practice with shading with watercolors if you find the Norris Club by Stedler I really just I highly recommend it just for that reason because it's really cheap and you can practice and I proved another point <laughs> that you can do great artwork well it's not the best artwork I've ever done but it still looks great um, you can do great artwork with a cheap tool. You don't have to spend like eighty or eighty dollars on a massive like Winsor and Newton expensive kit of watercolors. You can just do cool things with a cheap one. Uh, like I said, the only problem I had personally was it's, that it's too small for working. But that will be the same with another kind of watercolors and that powdery gouache feeling that isn't the best. Uh, um, um, I, I don't really specifically like working with gouache, but it's uh, but it doesn't matter because I mean like um, as long as you can uh, work the shading, uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of paint it is, and you can always use like some uh, kind of fixative just to like spray so, so you can protect your artwork. But yeah, um, that is the cheap watercolor challenge, and it was really just so much fun. I'm really happy with the results, and like I said, it's just. I'm really impressed because I never thought that could be so easy to grab the color. It's very vibrant and I never thought of that. I, I just I was assuming it would be really bad, but it's not that bad actually. It seems like it's really long lasting as regular watercolors, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the video guys. Hope you enjoy. If you want me to test out other cheap product or any challenges you want me to do, so if you have any ideas for art challenges, just post them below and I will um, be happy to do it. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.